it going today. I just wanted to show you really quick how I made this light hood for this 10 gallon planted tank I'm going to be starting here pretty soon. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. This is the, the light I made. I made it completely from scratch out of wood. Um, the outside is flooring laminate. Um, I got that at Home Depot. I was just kind of wandering around at Home Depot trying to find something that might work for making this hood. So I wanted something thin and light also inexpensive so I was walking around I, I came across to the hardwood flooring section and I saw one of the packages had been opened um, so I found a, an employee and said you know is there any way I can buy you know one or two of these sheets one of these planks and he said let me go talk to the manager the manager said uh, I asked for two and the manager said you know just take two so they gave me two for free um, it gives a little bit of a like a 70s vibe but you know whatever it worked out and it was free so um, I also screwed everything together, um, so if I ever need to repair this or re replace the wiring or whatever like that, I don't have to destroy it but I, if I were to have glued it together. Um, so I'm going to show you the inside. This is the switch real quick. This is a regular switch. I got that at Home Depot also. Um, but here's the inside. You can see it's flooring laminate. Okay, so these, if, if you knew anything about wiring, you, you'll know this is super simple. Basically just two leads into two leads into two leads into the into the wall um, interrupted by the switch it's super simple and since they're LEDs you don't have to worry about positive or negative just make sure when you decide right is positive and left is negative just make sure the left is left left is left left and left um, make sure negative is one side positive the other it doesn't really matter um, so these are GU 110 sockets I just drilled a one and a quarter inch hole and I used just some regular glue I had laying around and glued them in there um, so that's the inside. Let me pause this video and screw the top back on and I'll show you the inside. Alright, so here's the inside. You can see there's three bulbs. they are LED bulbs. I got these off eBay. They're like $5.40 each. I bought like 17 of them for another project that I ended up not using them for. So I have a whole bag full of them right there. Um, but these are 560 lumens each. Uh, 6.4 watts. Um, and they have a 50,000 50, life hour life expectancy so these will last me like 10 years and um, I got the GU 110 connector that's typically used for like spotlights and cabinets and stuff like that um, they just give it a half turn they come right out um, I like how I made this kind of modular so if one of these ever dies I don't have to tear the thing apart to replace one it is put them in give it a half turn and it's a done um, these do get a little bit warm I have a laser thermometer they get to about 94 degrees, so not too, too hot, and I've ran them on my tank for a few days, and they don't affect the temperature of the tank, which is good, um, so nothing to really worry about too much there. The inside is just a piece of two, uh, one by two I had laying around. I just cut it to the dimensions of the tank. Um, so let me show you one last thing before I put this back on the tank and show you how it light it lit up. I got this little lip right there. You can see it doesn't sit quite flush. Um, that's so that it grabs on to the side of the tank. Sorry, I was out of focus there. It grabs onto the side of the tank on each side um, so it doesn't fall in. See how it grabs onto the side there? I can push it side to side and it won't fall off. So let me plug it in for you. There it is on. Let me step away. I just set up this tank just 10 minutes before I record this video, so that's why the water's a little cloudy I use this API first layer pure laterite um, I just did a very thin coating along the bottom and then tapped it or capped it with regular aquarium gravel so we'll see how that works I'm also going to be running a CO2 system on this tank um, that and also be dosing with um, minerals and stuff but let me show you the, the light bulbs themselves so as you can see they are I already showed you these but there's the light and I'm going to turn it on now as you can see, they're just stupid bright. Like I said before, 560 lumens, 6.4 watts each um, on this little 10 gallon tank. That's giving me a 1.92 watts per gallon, 8.4 lumens per square inch. Um, so I have pretty high hopes for this tank. I just have a regular a 50 watt heater and a 10 gallon uh, filter. Um, I haven't quite decided what, I'm, what kind of fish I'm going to have in this tank yet. I originally wanted dwarf puffer fish, but you can only keep them with themselves, and I was going to want bottom feeders and neon tetras and stuff, so I'm probably going to drift away from that idea and probably just do a small community tank with some shrimp. And uh, 
but we'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to put the, a link in the description of this video to my build log on another on a form. So check that out if you want. Um, feel free to ask me any questions, and uh, thanks so much for watching.